Hello, welcome back to another Dragon Knight Sorcerer's Gameplay Part 131. I'm Robot DZ. Last time I uh, did some dungeons and talked to some NPCs while continuing the Sorcerer story, so let's continue. I don't know why I'm still exhausted. He built this city. Built this city under rock and roll. What are you guys doing here? I didn't even fire my signal. We got here as soon as we found the information that the map is in this building. Ah, I wonder. I have a feeling there is something in this building. I was thinking where I should fire my signal after seeing it. Yeah. Hey, why are you look at me like that? Are you trying to say it was all coincidence? I really had a hunch. All right, I believe you. Let's just go in and look for the map. Wait, it's not that I'm scared of dark and creepy places, but as you know, this place is full of thieves. You can find the map on your own. Grill and I will keep a watch here. What do you think, Grill? I don't really. Hmm, you're right. Searching for the map would be easy. The two of you can stay here and keep guard. No problem. You can count and you can trust me. You know you can trust me. Uh, he hides behind Grill as soon as soon as he says that. Uh, 
It's a map of a huge continent that you've never seen before. This must be the map of Mistland. Take a look at the map. Alexander pulls out his magic map. <clears throat> the map shows familiar places like Mirko City and our Empire and Chiron Island, as well as uh, Arcadia and La Lazuli Kindu that no, no longer exists. Um, Mirko City if it, if it exists and so does Chiron Island. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here, now would we? There is also a cross marked on the one part of the map, like it's somewhere important. It is written Ar Ar Argyll. Ar Argyll? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Below the cross. Also, Barry Shredder! Nice. You found the map. Leave the building now. Finally, I had a hard time looking for you. Could that be General J? No way. Why would a general come all the way here? Jay, you're breaking the rules. This is Kyle's territory. Since when did the agent of the Jedi start to fear? Uh, it's the guys who are to you know, let Kyle hand or whatever that happens in his territory. If I lost my appetite. I'll see you again, kid. I don't know why it started immediately. Go to Rumnart. Don't you remember us? The memories of Mervis is not important to me. Sorry, it was starting to go fast. It was just, I just couldn't keep up. What's up with all of you? Did you see a ghost or something? Like a drain? How did you? Oh, we just teleported here right now, like after the cutscene. I saw the signal, but what's wrong with them? It looks like Gregory fired a signal while you were searching for the map. One of uh, one is out of his wits and one is trembling with fear. Did they really see a ghost? I saw Ruminart. Ruminart, where is he now? He went back to the gods. Ruminart seemed to remember us. He said his memory about us wasn't important. That means. His actions are based on his own will, but why? Is that true? What is Rubenard's mind? What is on Rubenard's mind exactly? So is that, is that why you fired the signal? Oh no, it wasn't about that. I f I found the map. I saw Rubenard and the child general while I was leaving the building with the map. Oh, excuse me. I like how my bear sometimes backwards pals in the mid in mid air. <clears throat> I'm glad you found it. Well, what's went wrong with Gregory? A child general? Not even a high a high child, but a general? No, I can't do this anymore. No way. What What are you talking about, Gregory? I, I joined the anti god faction because I wanted to live, but I didn't expect I would have to come face to face with a child general. You have no idea how strong they are. I am like a speck of dust compared to them. I just wanted to live quietly in peace, without having to worry about my own life. If I have to face them again, that just means my chances of dying has increased. 
Maybe I would have been better off if I stayed in the Army of Destruction. You fickle bastard. <clears throat> would this situation be any different if you went back to the Army of Destruction? No. You would be treated like a dinner after you are stripped of the information about us. Do you think they'll let you off if you go back? You'll forever be a jewel lunchbox to them. Someone who they can discard easily. But here, there are people who take us, you as a teammate, even, even when you are acting like an ass. As long as you don't betray them, they won't abandon you. That is what you call a Nakama. At least they will treat you like a proper person. You joined the anti-goddess faction because you knew this too. I don't know how strong the Trout General is, and how many more you have to face in the future, but instead of getting stabbed in the back by your allies, isn't it better to fight alongside your allies, even if you have to face death? No one's forcing you to do anything. You're the one who decides what to do with your life, Gregory. I... I don't want to die. But more than that, I don't want to die in vain. No death is in vain, at least not for us. Gregory smiles bitterly. Yeah, they would use me and kill me if I go back. I'll live my life to the fullest while I can, and show people that a snack like me can become a useful teammate too. He's still fickle-minded. If you act like a weakling again, I'll be the first to kill you. <laughs> don't uh, don't the dragons of Legendia d have any camaraderie? You think it, you deserve that? You have a long way to go to expect that from me. Ignore the uh, ignore the bickering pair and talk to Lyca. Lyca, thanks to you, we can find the map, and Gregory has made up his mind too. I was just sick of hearing him whine. Anyway, I. Guess you're going to return to Merka and get ready for the next journey since you've found the map. I guess so. Like a, why don't you come with us to Merka? No, I'm going to keep looking for the relic on this island. I'm sure it is here somewhere. Oh, then we'll stay and help too. What? What? <laughs> Michael glares at the two of them. You can't wait to leave me, huh? I was about to refuse the offer anyway. We have to find the Chalice of Healing. It's not like we have plenty of time. I'm not, uh, it's not that I'm scared of the Lord of this island. It's just, I just think we should find the Chalice of Healing since we have the map now. It's weird that they're in, con in consensus. You should follow what they say. Finding, finding the relic is my personal matter, and finding the chalice concerns the lives of many people. Besides, it would be better for Grio to return to Merka to rest for a while. Looking at Grio, who is staring at the space blanket, you nod. Wow. Space. <clears throat> uh, what are you looking at, Grio? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Okay then, I guess we'll we have to uh bid for a while here. We'll meet again if fate lets us. I enjoy traveling with you, Robot Easy. Although it was only for a short while. So long, kids. Okay.
You're back. Have you found the clues on the charts of healing? Tell them that you found the map and met Ruminar. It looks like Ruminar is under Goddess Vesna's command now. Besides, a child general has shown itself. We have to be more careful from now on. But it's a surprise that Ruminar retained some or maybe even all of his memory when he has become corrupted. Maybe his traits and character has changed, but his memory still remains. No, his, his voice still remains, that's for sure. Maybe neither Rumnard nor Gaz Lesno have expected that. Or maybe Rumnard did. That's, that's difficult to understand. If he remembers us, why doesn't he come back? The past is only a past. He is currently nothing but a corrupted dragon under Vesnil's command. The memory of the past may not have any influence on him too. I guess finding the chalice of feeling is the only way to change him back to the original Rubenar. By the way, I saw this mark on the map. It's the, uh, oh gosh. It's the Ar Argol, Ar Ar Argol sounds more right, kingdom. Uh, it's a secret underground kingdom like Radimus where people who are against the goddess are gathered. Could it mean that the chalice is here? Uh, but I've never heard them mention it before. It's the Ar Ar Argol kingdom a part of the anti-goddess faction too? Yes. But they are very different from Radames. Though both of us are against Gaius Fesno, we're different in how we oppose her. Radames is considered progressive, cooperating with the Gingians and accepting a mutant child. On the other hand, er Ergo, Ergo is more conservative, hiding from the Gaius underground and protecting themselves with tight security and careful calculations. They are skeptical about cooperating with Rumnart because he's a dragon from Legendia, and our ties suffered even more when we accepted Griot since he is a, mu a mutant child. Now we only keep in touch with them on important issues for the sake of formalities. I see. But since the map points to this location, I have no choice but to go there and take a look. It's in the book, Read in Rainbow. Oh wait, it's not a book. Crap. Wait. <laughs> points to a location and teleports. It's a magic map after all. Yes, I'll send an emergency message there too. But before you leave, please go and thank Verica for all the help he has given us. Yep, I was thinking of doing that too. Though there were highs and lows, he has been much of help to us. Please don't forget to thank Verica for his help. Okay. Oh wait. Okay. He doesn't look like he's talking to someone, or. Oh. <laughs> uh, um. Um. Okay. Okay. There we go. Um. Hold on. I have to be on the other side here. There we go. I'm honored by your visits, messenger from the Empire. 
Please pardon me for the lack of a banquet to receive you. You arrived on such short notice. As you know, you've been sending so many secret visitors to us, and I reckoned you were one of them. Realizing that Verka is talking about the spies sent by our empire, the messenger frowns. You should know why the empire is so suspicious, Verka. Suspicious? That's going too far. America is, a new, uh, in America is a neutral state in a mercantile city. Anyone who has the means to pay for the goods and services can become a customer. There is no need for us to know about the details of the transactions, even if some of them are done by renegades of the Empire. There is no need for us to, to know and no means for us to knowing either. I know that. This is the neutral city approved by the goddess. For that reason, it thrives with trade between all factions. <clears throat> However, you should know that the, this place could keep its neut neutrality with the grace of Goddess Vestal's benevolence. Without her approval, it would no longer be a neutral area. <sighs> Rika's face stiffens after hearing it. Under Revet Goddess Vestal's orders, I hereby announce that Merkel will no longer be a neutral state. That's absurd. The Empire can't do this. Are you going to break the tradition of a few hundred years without any proof? The Empire would also have to deal with the after effects of such, decision, uh, such a decision. As, as you've said, we couldn't find any evidence, but refugees from nowhere started streaming into Merka, and this is enough to make the Empire suspicious of the connection between Merka and the anti goddess faction. The decision makers at the top have agreed to get rid of the seedlings of trouble while they are small. The reason why the goddess allowed Merka to survive in the first place was because there was a need for a buffer zone for trials. Considering their competitive nature of constant struggle. But if Rodin started infiltrating the area that can't be controlled, there would be uh, there would be a longer there would be there would longer be a need for it to exist. Regretfully, this is all part of the goddess's plan. I hope Merck can be, can be annexed by a, a child without much harm. Merck's first uh, fist is shaking with anger, but he does his best to compose himself since he can't do anything against the Empire. Tell him North about the danger Merck is in. I heard, I heard everything. <laughs> Rob uh, Robot TZ, have you thanked Verka yet? Tell Norfe what you heard. Oh no, I didn't expect uh, such a hardline re reaction from Empire. I thought Verka would never be caught since he's always so careful. I never thought the refugees from Random as near Merka would give him away. Refugees are everywhere in this war ridden mistland. So I thought we could avoid their suspicion. I guess too many of us moved at the same time. I feel bad for Merka. Uh, I... Let me try that again. I feel bad for Verka and Merka City. But what was done is done. We can't change the fact that Merka is no longer a neutral state now. The most we can do is to help them is to find the chalice of healing as soon as possible. But he's in such a state because he helped the anti guys faction. Is the faction so cold-blooded to abandon its benefactor so easily? Is that the goodwill you're so proud of? 
Robot EZ, like what you've said, we're people who uphold goodwill, not a group of merchants. However, uh, as a leader of the anti goddess faction, I believe we have to do what we have to do for the future. Even if it is against something goodwill, there, that's why we have to carry on our search for the chalice of healing. America would have calculated himself what is the best thing to do in this situation. This is all but my own thoughts. Now I start to question where I, ha I still have the good will in me or where I'm losing it. The choice is yours, Robot Z. You're the one who will carry on the good will of Legendia. You, you need time to collect your thoughts. Hey, Iris is over there. Robot Z, why do you look so stressed? Iris, I don't know what to do. Finding the challenge of feeling is important, but do I need to keep looking for it? Ignoring the people who have helped me before? Hmm. Brad Ruby has been corrupt become corrupted and is now on Vesnel's side. Although the barrier still protects the Mala store, poison keeps on seeping into Legendia. Iris understands why people are anxious. Though the barrier stops the uh, monsters from entering Legendia, it won't stop Vesnel's darkness from seeping in as long as the door is not completely closed. It's like deadly smoke creeping in through a wall full of holes. It will slowly fill Legendia, and if Altea's nightmares increase because of that, Legendia will sooner or later implode even if there's no attack from Mistland. Velska won't be able to stop everything by himself. That would mean the other side of the barrier could be weakened. And ultimately, monster, monsters from this land would be able to enter Ladenia. Such a scary outcome. Are you trying to say that I have found that I have to find the chalice of feeling to prevent that from happening? No. Iris is just talking about the anxious people. Talking with Iris is always confusing. Er, alright. Then what are your thoughts on this, Iris? Iris's thoughts? Iris's thoughts. Hmm. Robot GZ, you're strange. Why are Iris's thoughts important? Because it's hard for me to make a decision myself. So I want to know what others are thinking. What others think is not important. You know Brother Ruby helped people in Mistland who were in trouble even when he had to safeguard the Monolith's door. Brother Ruby never ignored the friends he made in Legendia, and he had trust in r friendship and camaraderie. Although some people might not understand, he trusted the strength arising from such relationships. Camaraderie Friendship, strength. That's what on that's what's on Ruby's mind. Uh, are you sure there's no uh, plane of world domination in there? Just saying. What's important are, are your own thoughts, Robot Easy. Take the path you think is right. Brother Ruby always did that, and although things have come to this, you will never regret his decisions. Thanks, Iris. Oh, okay. And more wings. Uh, it's path 
Terus uh, Oke, okay, sure You're more, you, you've more or less made up your mind. You have completed chapter 15, a new faction, huzzah. have to go there anyways. Wait. Yes. I believe I have to talk to this uh the scholar. Uh pretty sure. So I'll see if I can get the thing from him. What? Knowledge is the answer. No. 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 Uh, it's the wrong. Knowledge is the answer. The stars. I was in the right uh, area, anyways. I'm. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ominous energy still lurks in every corner of this world. But we can't just sit around and do nothing. As always, your help is much needed in Mistland. I wish you all the luck, Robot Easy. All right, that is going to be it for now. So, to next time to during the Sorcerer's Gameplay Part 132. This is Robot Easy. Sign off. Bye.